When compost dries, the water goes somewhere. We may get a surprise if we start composting indoors, perhaps because we can't see anything, or because it's raining inside, or because our building is corroding. When we compost outdoors under a breathable cover, we hardly think about how much water is lost from the process and what the water may contain. A rule of thumb for composting is that we lose 50% of the weight during the compost process and that the moisture content of the finished compost is about 50%. So that means if we start with a thousand tons of composting material, having a moisture content of 65%, there is 650 tons of water in the mix. After composting, 50% of the weight remains, or 500 tons of compost. With a moisture content of 50% in the finished compost, 250 tons of water remain. So then we've lost 400 tons, or 400,000 liters, or 105,000 gallons of water to the air during the process. So let's explore a real life example. We've composted two batches of food waste in one cubic meter containers for four weeks. The ambient or outside air temperature was 7.7 .7 and minus 2.1 degrees Celsius for batches 1 and 2, respectively. We lost almost 60% of the weight, and the compost was approximately 40% moisture after composting. The mass loss and moisture content of the compost confirms and exceeds the rule of thumb. We lost about 550 tons of water, or almost 150,000 gallons, for every thousand tons of composting material. We intuitively know that water loss is greater during the warmer summer months than during the colder winter months. So we processed another batch during the summer with an average ambient temperature of 21.7 degrees Celsius. We lost a similar volume of water, but in three weeks instead of four. So yes, outdoor ambient temperature is a factor determining water loss during composting. Odor concerns may require us to compost inside an enclosed space and manage the air accordingly. We must understand the water that is lost, where it goes, and the impact that it may have. Depending on air temperature and the air handling in the facility, we see an extremely wet environment in the building, especially during cold winter months. There may be fog inside the building, resulting in very challenging working conditions. We see rain inside the building, or even snow under extremely cold conditions. With food waste composting, depending on the air handling in the building, the moisture may contain ammonia concentrations exceeding 35 to 50 parts per million. At ammonia concentration of 50 parts per million in the air, the condensate will have a pH of 10, very corrosive. We see the impacts of this. So as we design and enclose our compost processes to minimize impact for our neighbors and for the environment, we must consider the following. How much water is lost and how it impacts the operations inside the buildings and what the water contains and how it impacts the building. My name is John Paul. I'm a soil scientist and waste management specialist. Thank you.